in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed listen that is not working for you does not mean it cannot work. Every door can open when you have the key. It will not open when you want it to open. It will open when you possess the key. Desire is not enough to bring results in the spirit. You need the keys. So I want us to pay attention. Don't allow the limitation of the flesh. This is a very prophetic moment we're entering. Can you help me with strength? Don't allow your flesh to limit you from receiving the fullness of that which God has for you. Hallelujah. When the man of God came to lead worship, one of the songs that blessed me so much was the song Sunan Sayesu. For me, it was such a revelation. Such a revelation. For his name is greater mightier. There are age-long captivities that must give up on your destiny this morning. I guarantee you. Yes. I'm aware that there are people who have come here with life and death situations. But there is a name. Hallelujah. There is a name. I'm a believer. I believe in God. I believe he is mighty. I believe he is able. There are no limits to him except the ones we create. And listen please. If you can stretch your spirit tonight, believe me, something will come upon your life that will last you a lifetime. You do not know the amount of prayer and communications with the spirit and the heavens that went in for this meeting. No matter how far you are seated, inside or outside, presence of God is here. So I want you to take it serious. I want you to open up your heart. Hallelujah. Because God is mighty. He said, I will pour water upon him that is thirsty. There is a way you have labored and done all you know to do. That you have done all you know to do does not mean that is all there is to do. Is what you know to do. It says, and I will give you the keys of the kingdom. When you possess those keys, you will rule even in the midst of your enemies. I want to exhort us very briefly. And then we'll storm the gates of darkness. For everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost is being returned unto me. Everything that was stolen. Prophesy one time to yourself that everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen. Speak to the atmosphere. Everything that was lost shall be returned. Is 
a prophecy, it's not a song. One more time from the depth of your heart. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Lift your voice in one minute and say, Speak to me, O God. Open my eyes. Are you praying? I tell you, the presence of God is mighty in this place. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, 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 holy. Holy, holy, holy. Mighty, mighty. King Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your own. Oh, see, oh, fountains of the deep, cry out, Kadosh, you are mighty on your own. Let me sing you ready.
us tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Please be seated for a while. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Those outside, can you shout a resounding hallelujah? Let every devil know you are alive and doing well and you insist that that which belongs to you must come to you. Shout one more time, hallelujah. I want to share with us a spiritual secret tonight and then we will pray. I want to share with us very briefly the secret of spiritual power. Please, I want you to pay attention. There is no man who wants to make a mark in the sands of time? There is no man living in the 21st century who wants to make any notable mark in the spirit. Who will ignore the place of power? There are so many believers who are zealous. So many believers want to become all that God has destined them to be. They have desire. They are sincere. They may even have faith, but they lack spiritual power. Hallelujah. What you will be learning very briefly and then we'll pray is supposed to empower you. Listen, a point must come in the life of a man when you will have an encounter with this realm that we live in is a realm that is compelled by power. It's not compelled by desire. It's not just compelled by sincerity. It's compelled by power. Psalm 63. The psalmist began to cry and communicate something. Psalm 63. Are we there? Oh God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee, my soul tasted for you. My flesh longs for you in a dry and weary land where no water is. And this is why I seek for you. Verse 2. He says to see thy power and thy glory reproduced in my life the same way I saw it in the sanctuary. It's not enough to see power in the church and on crusade grounds. Lord, I want that spiritual reality to be at work in my life. Years ago, when I sensed the call of God upon my life, please listen. I began to study books and study men and women. I studied large churches and ministries. And I found out as I studied that there were so many people who were powerless and could not do much. And when God began to describe to me the kind of ministry and the dimensions that he would want me to walk in, I knew that I would have to spend time with God until I touch something genuine. Otherwise, I would have to join the band of people misleading and deceiving themselves and other people, speaking with no results. And then, I began a journey exploring spiritual power. I began to study the lives of men and women who had been used mightily Unfortunately, I did not find many of them that were models enough. I began to study the generals. I began to study the apostles, Elijah. Hallelujah. And in the course of my journey, for me, it was a matter of life and death. It was not just for my name. I knew that I would confront sick people. I knew that I would confront oppressed people. I knew that it would take power for any kind of increase in ministry spiritually numerically and otherwise 
I knew posters would only do so much. I knew English would only do so much. And I made up my mind that I have no message for God's people until I have the power to prove it. Please pay attention to what I'm sharing. This is an exhortation. I want to stir up your heart. I watch in sincere grief as I see a lot of men of God and people who want to be used by God with so much zeal, so much English, but no power. And then a few who have taught what they believe to be power convince themselves that because they taught someone and he fell down, Why do you need spiritual power? I'll tell you. Pastor Alpha and Manasseh shared it very powerfully. There are giants on every mountain. Please pay attention. This city has gates. That you are here is a sign of dominion. It's not a sign of the absence of darkness. It's a sign of the prevailing power of God over them. There are many lives here that have been buffeted by darkness. I talk to people all the time and I minister, I minister all the time. And I watch with shock the way Satan prevails cheaply over the lives of people. There are doors that will never open until power opens them. When Moses went to Pharaoh, there was very little conversation. When the conversations were done, it was an encounter of power. Are you getting what I'm sharing tonight? And then I began to pray. I remember when I had an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. He never spoke a word to me. But he transferred power. Never spoke one word. But something left him and entered my spirit. He said, the entrance of your word giveth light. And understanding unto the simple. I remember when I began to see the miracles and the hand of God. Then I began to see other issues that I could not contend with in the lives of people. And I knew that I had to go back. And that was when I learned that you must consistently contend for spiritual power. Let me tell you something. There is too much noise in the church because there is little power. You will always have to explain and explain and explain. Paul said, when I came to you, I did not come with the excellency of speech. He says, but I came to you in the demonstration of the spirit. power, That your faith will not be upon the wisdom of men, but upon the power of God. Tonight, I want to guide us through a few secrets my personal spiritual journey I promise you that if you pay attention to this little exhortation you will encounter power Jacob was a man who met with the Lord and he held on to him he said I will not let you go it was an encounter with power he said leave me for the day break it he said no way I said what is your name he said my name is Jacob a cheat and a supplanter and it says, from now henceforth, your name is changed to Israel. For as a prince, you have fought with God. You have contended with God and prevailed. A time must come in a man's life when you'll be tired of the level you are. And cry in desperation. Lord, I need your power and your glory in my life. There are gates. Many of us come from all kinds of regions. Hear me. Your personal salvation does not deliver your territory. The gates are still there. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are giants on every mountain. The Bible says, How terrible art thou in your works? It says, Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. Hallelujah. I remember Bishop Oyedeko sharing one time. And he said how that the church was not growing. They were fasting. 
They were praying and doing all they knew to do. And it was not growing. And then, one time, while they gathered with the brethren and they were angry at the situation, he said the Lord asked him to come out. And when he stepped out, he saw a dark cloud. And he said, this is the cloud that makes people to misunderstand your ministry. And he commanded the cloud to roll away. And there was an explosion. Let me tell you something. Time does not change anything. It is power that brings change. Time only reveals. It does not change. For 38 years, the man was sitting at Bethesda. But when the power of God came upon his life, It is power that can give you audacity to be able to bring heaven to bear. To be able to bring the realities of the realm of the spirit here and now. It takes power to change an SS genotype to an AA. It takes power to open the door of marriage for a lady that it has been closed. It takes power for a woman without womb to get pregnant. It takes power for someone whose life has been tied forever through the greatness of thy power I made up my mind that I have no ministry if I cannot demonstrate its validity three keys very quickly and then we are going to pray the first secret the Lord taught me before we talk on the keys let me just give us a little preamble 1 John chapter 5 verse 9 help us media 1 John 5 verse 19 very simple but interesting revelation that God gives us there 1 John 5 verse 19 can we read it together as projected 1 to read can you read it louder 1 to read Although we are of God, I'm giving you an information that the whole cosmos, the social system, lieth in wickedness. Please believe this. That the whole world lies in wickedness. You don't need to offend anybody. The condition to be a victim or a potential victim of the curse that comes upon creation is that you are born of a woman for as long as you arrive here safely from birth until you transit there is a potential for disaster it takes power to reign it says rule thou in the midst of your enemies rule thou pastors hear me if your ministry must move from where it is you can have all the connection in the world it takes spiritual power. Hallelujah. It takes power for anything to happen in this life. The first key to spiritual power is consecration. Write it down. Don't trivialize what I'm sharing. If you want to see the power and the anointing of the spirit upon your life, the first key is not praying in tongues. The first key is a life of consecration. What does it mean to be consecrated? It means to be yielded. It means to be aligned. It means to be separated unto God. Consecration is a reflection of your submission. A dedication that you have given your whole self, spirit, soul, and body. You have laid down your will. I see so many people who want power, but they still own their wills. Let me tell you something. If it is true spiritual power you want to see in your life, your will must die. Your personal will, your ambition, you must be willing to lay it aside. If you want power with God. You cannot take the power of God and fulfill your own agenda. You must die to your agenda. Are you getting blessed? Spiritual power is not a gift. 
Make no mistakes about it. Not everything in the kingdom is a gift. There are things that are rewards. Consecration. The price of yieldedness. The centurion. When Jesus came, he made a statement. He said, for I am a man under authority. And on the strength of my submission to an authority, I can tell one go and he will go. I can tell one come and Jesus looked at him. A Roman citizen with such an understanding of the kingdom. Forget about spiritual power when your will is still alive. You want to run your life by your own terms, by your own way. So many pastors are doing their ministry they are church. So many businessmen are doing their business until it becomes God's own. Forget about power. Dedication. Consecration. I'll never forget one time when I was praying. It was, it, it's not a doctrine, it's my personal cause. I had to, I was praying and I had to stand before God. Lay down, I stood naked from head to toe. And I say, Lord, I'm dedicated by this prophetic act. My spirit, my soul, and my body. Let this mortal body become a superconductor of your anointing. I give it to you. I have no ambition of my own. My entire life is around the circumference of his will. You want to see the power of God upon your life? You must come to a point where you die to your will. Do not think God will give you power to do your thing. No. It will have to be at his terms. That's what was happening to Jacob. He touched his tie and made him everly dependent on an authority other than himself. There are so many people who are not consecrated to God. It takes dedication. It takes total surrender. That's the word. Surrender. Surrender. Take all of me. All of me, Lord. You have my everything. Use all of me. All of me, Lord. You have my everything. Anoint my everything. Use my everything. I release my everything. You have my everything. Take all of me. All of me, Lord. You have my everything. You gave your everything. So I give my everything. You gave your everything. I give my everything Take all of me All of me Lord This is the key This is what I did with my life Lord Take everything Take my ambition Take my destiny Take everything that means life to me I surrender it to you And God says if you can Give me everything he says, for because you did not withhold your son. That was the key. Consecration is not just about religious rituals. It's about a state of surrender. A state where you know that he becomes your life. It's a realm in the spirit called Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ that lives in me. And the life that I live in the body, the flesh, I live by the faith of the son. Are you willing to give up everything? The problem is many of us are not willing to give up everything. Because we have been able to educate ourselves falsely. That every time you surrender all to God, he makes you a failure. Every time you give up to God, he, he, will, he will destroy your life. But he says, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord. If it is your business, get set to die. If it is your marriage, get set for the pressure to kill you. If they are your children, get set to kill yourself raising them. But when it becomes his own.
this song that we sing they all belong to you even the air that we breathe it all That's the anthem of my life. There's nothing in my life that belongs to Joshua Selma. It belongs to you. Listen, I have transferred every responsibility to him. I will play my part, but it belongs to him. My life is not my own. I have no ambition of myself. My breath belongs to him. My strength belongs to him. This is the first secret of spiritual power. Consecration. That life of surrender. Believe me. So many men of God run around with dots of oil looking for anybody that is anointed and they kneel down with their carnality and flesh. You can soak yourself inside one jerry can of anointed oil. You will only get up littered with oil but you will not touch power with God. You want power with God. The first secret is surrender. I'm not talking of born again. I'm talking of him taking everything. He says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. He was speaking to the church, but he was still crying for intimacy. Number two, the second secret of spiritual power is revelation and insight. Revelation and insight. Ephesians chapter 1, please. Let's look at verse 18. Paul the apostle prayed a prayer to the church in Ephesus. And he made an interesting statement. Help us please. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 18. He says that the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened, flooded with light. Then he says that ye may know. When the eyes of your understanding is flooded with light, you know. You come into oneness with a reality. It doesn't just mean to be aware. It's not talking of awareness. It's talking of a state of oneness where you and that reality have become one. He says that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints 19 and what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the working of his mighty power the bible says now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly far above all that we ask or imagine but all of that is limited to the power that works within us. Light and illumination. When light breaks open over your spirit, please hear me. When illumination breaks open, authority is given to you in the spirit. One time I was in a vision. I've shared it here a number of times. And while I was in a vision, I saw a big door, giant gate, and when I looked closely, it was zoomed to me. And I looked at it closely, and I found out that that big door was made of smaller doors. And on every door, there was a scriptural inscription on it. I saw the doors opening and closing, and every time they opened light, like an arrow would just shoot out of it. And then the Lord began to reveal to me. That this is what happens when people catch a revelation of a dimension of truth. The light, the power, the anointing to demonstrate its validity is released upon them. Meaning when you teach a thing you cannot demonstrate, you have not caught the light yet. No matter how you pretend it. Illumination. Illumination. This is part of the benefit of prayer. That when you pray, capacity is given to you in the spirit. It's like a, a, an elevation in the spirit that 
tilts you in a position where you are able to see clearer. And on the strength of that illumination, you will walk. Hallelujah. There are so many people groping around. Dominion, I've said it again and again. Dominion is not an impartation. You don't receive an impartation called dominion. No. Dominion is the resultant effect of your comprehending the laws and the mysteries of the kingdom. The scripture Pastor Alpha shared in Job 38, he was trying to quote it. Verse 33, it says, Knowest thou the ordinances of the heavens, and canst thou establish their dominion upon the earth? Do you know the laws that govern the realm of the spirit? And can you establish their dominion? There is something that if you know right now, the door that has been closed over you will open. There is an access to light. There is something when a pastor knows, increase becomes unlimited. There is something when a man of God knows, his life becomes a mystery. Every man functions according to the measure of light that is accessible to him. The Bible says you will only arise and shine to the degree to which your light has come. Not when you are tired of sitting. Arise and shine for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Let me tell you a little secret. Especially if you are in, in ministry. There is a level of spiritual illumination that begins to rise from your life and your ministry it starts attracting a kind of people first it will attract gentiles kings will not come yet kings don't come to your life they come to the brightness so there is a degree of illumination you have that will begin to bring certain people but as the light keeps getting brighter it will begin to compel certain kinds of people light illumination I'm not just talking of Bible study. I'm talking about access to the mysteries of the kingdom. He says, call on to me. And that's why we are praying tonight. Because we need access to light. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Call on to me and I will answer. He says, I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. There are things we do not know. The Bible says the secrets of the Lord are with them that fear him and he will show them his covenants. Not everything is accessible to everyone. When Saul and his men watch this. Uh, was it Saul or David now? I can't get the story quite clearly. But when they were returning back they were tired and hungry. And they went to the priest and asked. They said, we want bread. Here's what the priest said. They said, he said, there is no ordinary bread. The common bread is finished. But there is a hallowed bread. There are deeper things in the spirit. Weightier dimensions of illumination. That can turn a man to become like a spirit. But it happens when you call upon him. He says, call unto me. When the king wanted to destroy Daniel and all his friends, he said, let the king not be hasty in this. I will bring the king a right answer. He went back and called upon him and his eyes were open. He says, then the secret was revealed unto Daniel. Brothers and sisters, hear me. The next dimension of our life and destinies are at the mercy of spiritual secrets and mysteries. This ministry by the grace of God is revolving around mysteries. Spiritual mysteries. A mystery is a hidden code of operation. It's a spiritual code of operation that only takes the agency of the Holy Ghost for you to understand its operation. And it says it has been given unto you to know. There is a mystery that will command dominion in your family. That all those powers of darkness that attempt to tie people's destinies down. Illumination. Number three. 
the third key to walking in spiritual power is being and remaining full of the Holy Ghost. Being full of the Holy Ghost. Full of the Holy Ghost. There are different measures and dimensions of the Holy Spirit that can find expression in people. But if you want spiritual power in your life, let me tell you there is no laziness. You must be full of the Holy Ghost. Jesus said, Satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself. It was, it was Stephen while he was about to be stoned, the Bible says he was full of the Holy Ghost and power to a point that his face was like that of an angel. In Bible time, the condition to be a worker in the welfare department is that you are full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom. That was a requirement. To serve tables, you must be full of the Holy Ghost. There are so many believers who are not full of the Holy Ghost. That's why we carry our emptiness and we keep embarrassing ourselves. And there is one spiritual key to being full of the Holy Ghost. Prayer. Prayer. The ministry of prayer with fasting. It's the key. Spiritual key. That's why we must pray. When you are full of the Holy Ghost, Brothers and sisters, there is an energy that is generated within you. Every yoke, is, the Bible gives us a picture. It's like an expansion that is happening. There is a level that expansion gets. It breaks every chain at once. At once. Full of the Holy Ghost. That's the level that we must contend. That you pray to a point where you become full of the Spirit. And certain things will happen to you the moment you are full of the Spirit. The Bible says, do not be drunk with wine, wherein in excess. It says, but be ye filled with the Holy Ghost. If you are truly filled, naturally, certain things will start. You will start speaking. Not by your mental ascent. You are speaking as a response. Because when, when you are full of anything, Whatever spirit or agency fills you up begins to live out its nature through you. Manifesting its characteristics through you. That's how people become superhuman. They are full of the Holy Ghost to a point that they become puppets. Their voice is the voice of the spirit. Their hands have become the hands of the Holy Ghost. So when they tell you God bless you, they speak on the strength of the agency. The only way to communicate being full of the Holy Spirit is being drunk. When a man drinks to stupor, there is a level to which he drinks and that, that alcohol influences his mind and his faculty and momentarily he loses consciousness. At that point, he will say things and do things that are a direct influence of that alcohol. When you become full of the Holy Spirit, then the spirit of prophecy will fall on you and you will begin to speak and call things that be not. Let me tell you something. The correct order of dominion prayers is to pray in tongues until you are full before you begin to prophesy. You don't just stand up and start saying, in Jesus' name, gates open. No, there is a dimension you stretch in the spirit. It's like an escape velocity. When you get there, the spirit of prophecy comes upon you. And you begin to make decrees. And I trust God that we'll get to that dimension tonight. That is the level where you can call things that be not as though they were. That is the level where the anointing will shatter every yoke when you are full of the Holy Spirit. But when that power is at work in your life, it begins to activate possibilities. Brothers and sisters, hear me. It takes power for the gate of your destiny to be opened. Every one of us here is on our way to destiny. But it takes power. Otherwise, the gates will not open.
tonight hear me you are going to stand and pray until the chains that lock up the gate of your destiny give way are you hearing what i'm saying i'm preparing our hearts because we are going to pray the devil must give up on you you must pray until that spirit of barrenness jumps out of your life you must pray until the chains that are tying down your life go you must pray there is a way you can pray yourself to victory it's like a flight in the spirit you keep praying when the flesh is tired you say no way when you keep ascending you will get to a point in the spirit where you would have touched reality brothers and sisters you will never come back again it's an escape velocity in the spirit and then you wake up and all of a sudden you see doors opening don't wait until a word of knowledge is given or a prophecy tonight we are praying ourselves to destiny we are kings and priests we will take on the priestly role first we will stretch in the spirit are you hearing what i'm saying james chapter 5 verse 13 is any man afflicted let him pray not let him discuss not let him complain is any man challenged by gates are there doors that have refused to open let him pray is any man jobless and you've done your applications and doors are not open pray your way to victory terminal diseases is because they have an occasion to lead to your flesh when you generate power in the spirit when you generate fire in the spirit it burns every chaff does any man desire to see signs and wonders and miracles in your ministry and in your life Anything that fights your prayer life has destroyed your access to power. Let me repeat it. Anything that fights your prayer life has destroyed your access to power. You can pray your way to victory in the spirit. You can pray your way to favor and breakthrough. You can pray your way and smash those doors. He has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. It takes prayer. When the apostles were caught and James was beheaded, it pleased Herod. The people were happy and they bound Peter. They were about to kill Peter and the church said, no way. And they began to pray. Prayer authorizes heaven to step in in your affairs. When you pray, you authorize heaven. When you pray, you activate the ministry of angels. When you pray, you begin the work of creation. Creation did not stop on the seventh day. God only rested. Those who can access the power and the light. Tonight, I want you to be angry with the things that have been happening in your life. Some of us are like a battery. We have gone down spiritually. You must pray yourself to fullness. There are so many men of God who do not pray. And they stand and do all kinds of gymnastics. Let me tell you something. Nothing in your life will cover for the absence of prayer. When a man is not a prayer man, it shows there is, there is a touch of eternity upon you when you are a man of prayer. For Elijah was a man of like passion. And he used prayer to lock the gates over a city. He did not use a discussion with Ahab. Prayer. He locked the gate and kept the keys in his pocket. He said that gate will not be open. Except at my word. Tonight, you can pray yourself to victory. Inside and outside and all around. There are families that have come tonight. People have traveled from far and near. It's time to pray yourself to victory. Pray yourself to victory until you are full of the Holy Ghost the key of consecration the key of illumination the key of prayer 
being full of the Holy Ghost. You become a bank of spiritual power. Hear me. Let me say this especially. This seems to work only for men of God. It may not be applicable for other people. But let me give pastors a secret. The day power comes to your life, poverty has died forever. I guarantee you. I, the day power comes upon your life, genuine spiritual power, not nonsense that people are doing around. The day power comes, you have gotten something that is worth it. I was teaching the school of ministry students and I told them that if not for anything, when you find the anointing, you have found what is more than gold. We trivialize the anointing. Hear me. The anointing does not make the difference. The anointing is the difference. Oh God, you are my God. Early, like we are doing, will I seek you? My soul thirst for you. I want to see your power and your glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Media, do you have this in the trim audio? I don't have it. There will be different sessions and I'm going to be leading the sessions. Hallelujah. We are going to be praying in tongues for one hour at a stretch non-stop. After that, when the spirit of prophecy is upon you, there is an anointing who anoints us and all of that and then we can minister to people but we need to pray. Do you have it? Are you ready with it? Okay, so quickly. Everyone is going to participate. We are going to pray. It takes prayer. It takes prayer. Everyone say it takes prayer to command victories. Say it takes prayer. That's what a vigil is. A vigil is not a time to sip tea and take lemon juice and, and banana cake. You are joking. A vigil is a time to tell the devil Christ has won this. I come to establish my victory. Listen, the breakthroughs that will arise from this prayer session will surprise many of you. You never know how cheap Satan is until you're a man of prayer. You never know how cheap doors can be. How cheap they can open. Pray. Pray. When you pray in the secret, then you make your life easy in the open. But when you do not pray, many of us pray, but we pray amiss. Tonight I want to teach you strategies, deep strategies for spiritual prayer that will produce results. That you are talking does not mean you are praying. There are many people who are talking for a long time and they leave that place with the same misery and frustration. There, is, there are dimensions and laws and there are rules of engagement. I don't know about you, but part of my request, I told God, I must step into new levels of grace in this vigil. Shortly before I came here, I lay down flat before the Lord and I said, Lord, my personal desire, I know you will use me to touch and bless your people, but whilst that is happening, I hold on to your garment. There is a new level. I saw in a vision a curtain opened and there was another one and I was pushed forward. I said, that's it. I must pray till what I have seen. Many of you have seen things in your dream. Prayer is the weapon that you use to bring it to pass. You have seen a great life. You have seen a prosperous destiny. But there are gates. Make no mistakes about it. Your business will not just excel. There are gates. Sister, the marriage will not just happen. There are gates. But tonight, ministries and destinies will rise to a new level. Please, I'm saying this so that you will prepare your spirit. Prepare your spirit. Rise up, everybody. Inside and outside, please rise up.
the first prayer point is a cry for grace call it the spirit of prayer and supplication lift your voice and pray lord release upon me the spirit of prayer and supplication just pray please everybody rise 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 stand on your feet you came to pray do this for the sake of your destiny will you open up the gate open up the doors will you open up the gate open up the doors Open up the gate. Open up the door. Quicken us, oh God, and we will call upon your name. Quicken us, oh God, and we will call upon your name. Quicken us, oh God, and we will call upon your name. Quicken us, oh God, and we will call upon your name. Quicken us, oh God, and we will call upon your name. Hallelujah. I want you to lift your voice and pray in one minute before we start praying properly. Say, Lord, I surrender everything to you. Lift your voice and pray. Take everything inside and outside, right to the back. Lord, I've tried to live my life my own way. I surrender everything. I surrender my will, my ambition. I surrender everything. It belongs to you. Pray. Total surrender. Lord, it belongs to you. The bread is yours. The gift is yours. The business is yours. The ministry is yours. It belongs to you. Hallelujah. Media, are you ready? Please let me know when you are ready. You are ready? Now, hallelujah. Dr. Cindy Trim is a woman of prayer. Cindy Trim is a woman with a strong prophetic grace for prayer. And we are going to be using her one hour prophetic declaration. She makes prophetic declarations. It's an audio while that is happening until it finishes is a guide the moment it starts we are stretching in the spirit no sleeping anyone who is sleeping hold his hands and walk around with them no sleeping praise the lord because this is about your destiny outside make sure you participate whatever you do be ready to stretch it in the spirit and i want you to imagine yourself ascending a ladder in the spirit where you are tearing down the walls of limitation. Hallelujah. Father, I stretch my hands over your people and I ask for a supply of grace to pray. Grace to pray. Let the spirit of prayer and supplication come upon you. Let the capacity, the capacity to stretch in the spirit. It cannot be by your efforts. Hallelujah. Are you ready now? Praise the Lord. Lift your voice, everybody begin to pray in the spirit. Pray like a priest. Only in the spirit. Only in the spirit. Open your mouth and begin to blast in tongues. 
For as a prince. As a prince. This is not just your normal prayer life. I know, I know normally you pray. You are under a heavy unction. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. your Bibles please Psalm 92 Psalm 92 We're entering another phase. Verse 10. Psalm 92 verse 10. I want us to read it together. One to read. One more time. Horn is a symbol of authority. Horn is a symbol of power. The anointing was usually put in a ram's horn. It says, but my horn shall thou exalt. Just like the horn of a unicorn is always above. You will exalt my He says, and I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Listen. The Lord asked me to do this before we begin to minister to the sick and all of that. This is ordinary oil. But there is an ability of the spirit that can come upon this. And this loses its earthly significance and takes on a heavenly significance. This is an anointing that is coming upon you to bring freshness to your life. This is an anointing that is coming upon your life to bring remarkable breakthroughs. I saw this when I was praying in a vision and that's why I'm just doing this. We're going to be very fast because there are still many other things to do. I'm going to pray on this and we'll put it in this plate and the ministers will help will just spread it around when they pass it to you just tap your hand and put it on your forehead and begin to blast in tongues when everyone is done then we we'll begin with the ministrations father in the name of Jesus Christ can you open them for this is ordinary oil but by the power of the Holy Spirit I declare that beginning from tonight they carry the anointing of the Spirit many of you as you partake of this fresh fire comes upon your life freshness listen 
Tonight is a night of encounter with power. Hallelujah. It's a night of encounter with power. Father, I lay my hands upon this. In a name that is above all names, may they become conduits of your power. May they become instruments of power. As this comes upon the heads of many, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that they will bring supernatural breakthroughs, supernatural freshness, supernatural grace. By the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, lift your voice and begin to pray and say, Lord, as this oil comes upon me, something must break loose in my destiny. Are you praying? As this oil comes upon me, something must break loose in my destiny. Are you still praying? Lord, I'm tired of stagnation. I'm tired of hardship. Keep praying. Lord, my heart is open. New dimension. New dimension of fire. New dimension of illumination. New dimension of victory. New dimension of grace. Don't, don't start applying it yet. What tired of the status quo? It's gotta be. Now listen, please, I want you to know that this is not an ordinary oil. It has the power of God. What you do is just pass it to the first person. You just touch it and then begin to make declarations and prophecies. We'll do that very quickly so that we'll finish up because there are, there are still some other sessions and our time is already gone. Hallelujah. It's gotta be more, gotta be more. Father, let there be all kinds of miracles and breakthroughs as your people encounter this oil in the name of Jesus Christ go ahead just tap it lay it on your head and begin to blast in tongues go ahead everybody you can put it on your hands if you want to but go ahead quickly quickly just pass it round, pass it round quickly. Make sure there's enough outside, please. Let everybody get it. Everybody. Go ahead and pray. Make decrease. Make decrease. Believe what you are doing. Make decrees. Bible says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Those outside, are they, do they have the oil? Please, let's save time very quickly outside. Make sure you're speaking. My life will never be the same.
please rise up everybody let's pray for one minute ask the lord to visit you and speak to your situation go ahead please pray here kneeling with a child hallelujah the Lord is showing me a family that came here a family that came here I think this this has to do with sickness this is a family is it that you brought somebody or I'm seeing sickness and infirmity Please quickly, let's save time. We have, we still have a lot. Hallelujah. Stand up, sir. Where is your wife? Because I'm seeing a lot of witchcraft and I'm seeing oppression in your life. I don't know you, I don't know if this is your first time coming here, but the Lord wants to bring a visitation to your life. Please believe me. The Lord wants to bring you a visitation. Memuna. I'm hearing the name Memuna. Memuna. I'm hearing a name. I don't know if that's someone's name or that's someone's name. But I'm hearing the name Memuna. The Lord is ministering to me. I don't have to call your case. Believe me. The atmosphere that we're in is enough to bring us that breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hearing that name Memuna. I'm going to pray for you. Is your wife sleeping? Please let her come. I just want to minister to both of you. She can return back to the car. Memuna. Mommy, where is the woman with a prayer house? That mommy, please make your way to the front. The Lord is saying I should minister to you fresh grace. Quickly, quickly, please. Where is that person? this young boy what is this that I'm seeing I'm looking at this boy and I'm seeing snakes all over him this is what I'm seeing it came from you to him please collect this child let me minister to this woman please don't bring anybody out until I tell you to bring them out why are they here Memuna is that your name help us with a mic please huh this little girl. How can such a little girl be so oppressed? You are sleeping. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let this oppression leave this lady now. Mommy, I'm going to pray for you. You are stepping into a new level of the prophetic. Your eyes will be opened in a strange way. In a very, very strange way. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord standing close to you and pouring like oil. This is what I see happening to you. Like oil being poured upon you. And the Lord says, I should tell you, you are stepping into another dimension. A strange dimension of grace. 
Lord, make this happen by your grace. A strange order and a strange dimension of grace. Madam, where are you from? Madam, where are you from? Because I'm seeing, I'm seeing serious oppression and attack. It's not just on your baby. This thing, you are the one who really needs to be free, not even the baby. You get the point. But you have to calm down now, madam. Let me talk to you. I'm seeing you in the spirit. There's no mic. Okay, that's all right. I'm looking at this madam in the spirit and I'm seeing you fatter than this. I'm seeing what happened. You were sick. Even now. I don't even know that I'll come out. This is what I'm telling you because I'm looking at you in the spirit and the weight I'm seeing is not the same with what I'm seeing right now. That's why I told you it's not the issue of your child. What is happening is simply translating from you to the child. Come, sir. You and your lovely wife. The Lord is bringing breakthrough. Breakthrough. Tremendous breakthrough. Do you believe, madam? You believe that? Where do you walk? Are you walking? Where? Sterling Bank. It won't be too long. God is going to take you from that place. You know this now. You have been preparing to what? Yes. No, not true. Uh, because I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a referee. Like a, you know when it's almost time in a football match. This is what I'm seeing. Your time there is almost up. And God is going to lift you. I prophesy it in the name of Jesus Christ. And I'm declaring that let this happen. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is need to pray for your child. Um, I'm looking at this child and I'm seeing something like symptoms of fever, temperature. We have to pray for him. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, everything that is not of God upon this child, I take authority over it in Jesus' name. Madam, the Lord says I should tell you that he's bringing you into a season of favor. Please, I want you to believe me. I don't just talk if God has not told me anything. Do you believe? Father, bring this family into tremendous realms of favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why am I seeing Memuna on your head? Are you Memuna? That's your name. Come. You too, you are Memuna. I'm seeing a name written on her head and I'm seeing Memuna. Is that your name or is the name of someone? And I will restore. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, He can restore the years that the canker worm has eaten. Huh? two things. Number one, your relationship with God. Huh? You can't be one leg in and one leg out. You get what I'm saying, right? Leave all those friends and focus. Use this night. Let this be a night of determination in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, let her be free. Mama, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cause sickness. I cause infirmity. I'm going to pray for the sick. But then I cause sickness from your body in the name of Jesus. And every act of witchcraft, I take authority over it in Jesus' name. I lay my hands upon this baby. What's the name? What's your child's name? Madam, what's your child's name? Destiny. I lay my hands upon destiny and I speak to you. Be made whole right now from every infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, be prayerful. Yeah? be prayerful there are some things I cannot show here but you see let me speak in parables you cannot come and collect my thing and pretend not to know me are you getting what I'm saying you cannot come and collect my thing in the secret and stand in the secret pretending not to know me it's very important be prayerful and he's either lord of all he cannot share his glory with any other thing get what I'm saying, madam. The Lord is going to lift you and take you. Please, I want to pray for your children because the devil wants to oppress them. This is your child. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is spirit. Let her go now. Out! By the power of the Holy Spirit. Madam, I pray for you. I'm seeing three babies. 
there are some women here i'm seeing a woman particularly who came here specifically for the issue of fruit of the womb please who is that person I'm no, you are not standing for anybody you came for yourself who is that person let me just minister to the person very quickly please let's save time fruit of the womb because the lord is showing me i just had the cry three babies congratulations madam where is she your name is glorious we lift you up higher There's somebody here. You are here with five broad. Right now as I'm talking. Great wisdom for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ha! Ah, I see the healing angels. Stepping into this place. We we'll begin to minister to the sick proper now. I don't know why God does it. But he's going to do it again in a strange way. The anointing of God is going to come upon a lady. And she's going to shout. That loud shout will usher in the coming of the healing anointing. Please don't ask me why this thing happened. Your name is glorious. We lift you up higher, higher. Your name is glorious. We lift you up higher, higher. Your name is glorious. If you're sick in your body, please make your way to the front right now. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Everyone begin to pray, Lord, touch me. Please, if you're sick, just, just give them way. We're going to minister to them very quickly. Everyone will be touched. Everyone will be blessed. that's the end of it my dear that devil leaves you forever never to return never to return listen i want you to know that jesus heals here we have a track record by the grace and the mercies of god i'm going to minister to you very quickly so that we can speak specifically please make your way to the front just organize yourself and um, bring the lady. Where's the lady under the anointing? Case here. Yeah, I know. Eh? Look at, let me just calm down. I'm seeing something very funny and interesting here. Watch this. This woman, I'm looking at her and I'm seeing a corpse. I'm seeing somebody they have already buried. You see her? This woman is almost quarter to go. I mean, it's not clear there, but there's almost nothing here. Bones. Watch this. Um, the spirit that wants to kill this woman is in her son this boy standing it's not like it's the boy that wants to kill her so they went to consult with somebody huh? they went to consult with somebody this person is like a herbalist and he told them this is the boy that wants to kill the madam he got it wrong because his understanding is limited it's not like the boy wants to kill her but the spirit at work in him is what is tying her both of them this is the spirit of death she would have died on the 22nd of this month 22nd she would have buried her it would have been over she would have stopped talking from 19th and died on the 22nd God, you are higher than any other. I can't say He's awesome in power. Come on, sing it like victorious people. I got to voice and say, I got is greater. Hey. I got is stronger. Let's pray. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, I set this boy free from witchcraft by the power of the Holy Spirit. I cause that spirit that is responsible to She looks like a full-eyed woman. She understands how sir. Can I change how sir? Can I change how sir? So, I'm attack the game. Oh, Inji, Father, in the name of Jesus, perfect her. I curse this spirit. I take her out of these dungeons of death. Right now. belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god hallelujah the last and greatest session of this meeting is where i begin to prophesy that's where people receive guest breakthroughs and testimonies we may not be able to minister to everybody one by one but i want you to know that god is going to bless you peter adola is going to come up and for the next 10 minutes or so he's going to lead us through a dimension of worship and praise unto god and the moment that happens i will come back and we'll take up the last session with prophecy and then we'll take a few announcements we're done everybody give jesus praise as we celebrate him Father, we love you. Father, we love you. Father, we love you. And we've come to let you know. Father, we love you. Oh. Father, we love you. And we come to let you know You are the most high God Father, we worship you You are the most high God Father, we worship you You are the most high Father, we love you. Oh, Father, we love you. Father, we love you. And 
lost without you. Say it. I am lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. There's no me without you. There's no me without you. Say it. No me without you. There's no life without you. There's no life without you. Oh. Lord, I'm desperate for you. I'm desperate for you. I need a turn. I'm desperate for. Oh. I'm desperate for you. Desperate for you, Jesus. I can breathe without you. Desperate for you. I'm lost without you, Shane. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you, Shane. I'm lost without you. Church, say, I'm lost without you now, say. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. Never rain on the ground. Say, I am lost without you. Cover us with your grace, Jesus. <laughs> Say, I'm lost without you. Let it rain on your presence, oh God. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. We give you all the glory and the honor and adoration to your holy name. Yes, I'm lost without your grace, oh God. I'm lost without you. Here is power in the name of Jesus. Here is power. Break every chain, say it. Break every chain. 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 Break every chain, break every chain. Come on, say, break every chain, break every chain, every chain, every chain. I see the chains are broken now. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. Break every chain, break every chain, break every say break every chain, say Oh 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 Break every chain
lift your voices, everybody. The clap said, oh, oh, oh. To be mild, be gentle, say, oh, 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 Just 
Just leave him there. It's okay. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We have a few minutes and then we are done. I salute everyone. We'll have the last prayer session and then I'll just prophesy and speak over our lives. So can we all rise inside and outside? I will praise the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. I will worship Him and give a praise to Him alone. He who was and needs and needs to come, I will sing before His throne forever. You're holy, holy, yes, you are holy, holy, hallelujah, mighty one, Psalm 66, verse 3, please, our last prayer session, we're going to be praying, and we are going to be making decrees and commanding our lives and destinies. He told Job, has thou commanded thy morning? Or are you just allowing it to happen? Believers have authority, but we must put the authority to use. And then we compel these powers to submit. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy works. He says, through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. I want you to believe in the prayer session we're about to have right now. Very brief, but very impactful. And I want you to pray and pray like your heart depends on it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, when Moses began to advocate the release of the nation of Israel, God's covenant people into their promised land. 
when the pressure got so much pharaoh negotiated he said all right let we have a deal the men can go leave the women and the children leave the factors that represent the continuity of that race the women and the children let the men go because he knew they would perish and moses said no way we're going with our wives our children our cattle and everything so we're going to pray the bible says now abraham was old and well stricken in age and it says god had blessed him in all things not some things all things it's, it's possible for you to experience breakthrough and advancement in one area of your life but then you are tied in another area second kings chapter 5 tells us about a man who was the captain of the syrian army the bible says he was a great man he did exploits fought valiantly but he was leprous so we want to address those bots those situations in our lives yes you have done well you are anointed yes this and that but there are certain areas it must be total victory rise up on your feet i want you to shout it after me say in the name of jesus oh come on koinonia say in the name of jesus by the blood of jesus i come against every power that attempts to fight my destiny in the name of jesus i declare release of every other area of my life that is under attack and i declare this morning that it is my time for breakthrough lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice come on pray 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 people of god lift your voice and begin to pray mention the areas in your life that are pending that need the breakthrough hand of god mention those areas specifically please lift your voice and pray take this session seriously we're almost done are you praying in the name of jesus in the name of jesus go ahead and pray go ahead and pray pray for every area of your life that is yet to experience breakthrough decree and declare that after this vigil you will begin to experience breakthrough in that area by the power of the holy spirit we ward off the powers of hell standing against our lives and destinies are you praying hallelujah hallelujah was you praying when moses finally convinced pharaoh to release them watch this as they released them while they were going the bible says they met a red sea so they had left egypt but there was a red sea in front of them are we together now and the egyptians were back to capture them and they began to cry and in exodus chapter 14 moses said stand still stand still he says the egyptians you see today oh you may have seen them for 430 years but today the egyptians you see today he says that you would not see them and then he said moses verse 15 now moses was crying before god and he said why will you cry tell the people to move forward make advancement listen this prayer we're going to pray is important because many of us this prayer will supply courage hear me it's time to move forward it's time to move forward in business it's time to move forward in your career are you hearing what i'm saying you are going to pray and say lord everything keeping me down maybe it's the failure of the past maybe it's the lies of satan he has lied to you maybe you are falling again you entered a relationship it did not work you have refused to enter another one to get married you did business and it did not work and the devil is stopping you from moving forward you you tried to give birth and you had a miscarriage 
But right now, he said, tell the people to move forward. The signs do not go before you. They follow you. When you take the step of faith, God is ministering to someone. It's time to get back. The anointing is still there. Where you fell is where you will rise and excel. The anointing is still there. Lift your voice and prophesy. I'm moving forward. Go ahead and pray. Pray. In my ministry, I'm moving forward. I refuse to allow challenges and limitations stop me. Inside and outside, I'm moving forward in every area of my life. You wanted to start a building project. A challenge came and you have refused to move forward. You tried to get admission. You tried once, twice. It didn't work. Listen. It says, tell the people to move forward. Koinonia, I announce to you an anointing by an encounter with power is upon your life to begin to move forward. Now prophesy. Lord, I'm moving forward. I break those barriers. I refuse to see challenges. That project is doable. The project is doable. The marriage is doable. Come on, pray now. The ministry can rise. It's achievable. It's achievable. It's achievable. I may have been thrown down once, but it is achievable. There is still an anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My Bible says, there is hope for a tree. Even though it be cut down. Samson was a mighty man of power. But for some reason, he was anointed to be the judge over Israel. And for some reasons, he fell into the trap of a woman called Delilah. And that trap costed him his eyes. They plucked out his eyes and they shaved him. You would have thought that would be the end of Samson. Once a giant, the one who threatened the Philistines, the one who tore a lion and brought honey out of it, the one who removed a city gate, God is ministering to some people here. You have tasted power and honor, but something happened somewhere and brought you down. But tonight God is speaking to you that there is hope for a tree. You can rise again. When they took Samson and they took him to the temple and they were mocking him before our God, he prayed a prayer. He prayed a prayer of restoration that Lord, this one last time, let this anointing come upon me. And the Bible says he pushed. He killed more people in his death than he did in his lifetime. Can I tell you something? You should know the difference between failure as an event and failure as a person. We live in a generation where every time you fail, there are so many people coming to prove to you, justifying their prophecies. Are you getting me now? You start a business or a company, it fails, and everybody tells you, you see. You start a ministry genuinely called by God, no growth. There is failure and people tell you stop wasting your time a gentleman gets up and says i'm going to get married and no finances no resources no job and everybody tells him you'll be a failure or maybe a student you went to the board and you saw that you're on probation let me announce to you tonight that it is never over until you choose to give up. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I won't give up. No, I won't give up. I'll keep pressing on till my answer comes. I won't give up. Lord, I won't give up. I'll keep holding on my change comes I will never forget our first crusade 
our first crusade in Joss, you would have rated it maybe a failed crusade because they were not people, they were not much. We saw miracles, we saw mighty things, but the people were few. We were stranded. Listen, a crusade would happen. The crusade was to start by 5 30. As, as at 3 o'clock, the car was still spoiled. We're still on our way going. I'll never forget. The driver tried and tried and tried. We didn't even have enough money. We just had enough money to take us there. How we were going to survive. Are you getting what I'm saying? Listen, when you see a successful man, don't just celebrate the stories. Ask the person for the pains and the scars. Successful people are those who have forced any closed door to open. They are not those who do not have challenges. Are you getting the point now? I will never forget that crusade was powerful. Immediately after the crusade, the sound guys were standing. 150,000 were to pay them. It looks like child's play now. But then it meant a lot. Because even if everybody in the ministry then came together, we would not be able to solve it. But we knew that God sent us. I knew what God had told me. A great crusade. The first crusade we did not even have we could not rent video cameras. I'll never forget the humiliation that I went through from the sound people. It was, it was such a bitter humiliation. Those people frustrated my life literally because I could not afford it. I'll never forget one doctor in chemistry department on hearing on this situation, she took 5,000 and sold it as a seed. It was a disaster. I would have easily given up and said, that's it, Lord. No ministry again. Imagine the millions of lives within this country and around the world who have been blessed by this ministry. If I had given up at that point, God is speaking to someone. Peter tried to catch fish all night. Nothing happened. He would have packed up. Successful people are those who are audacious. Don't mind the mediocre around your journey to success. They will always wait there to make you feel like you're a failure. They will always make to claim their prophecy is self-fulfilling. When you succeed, I guarantee you, every one of them will change their reports about you. Nobody has time to celebrate you on your way to success. But when you arrive, the worst that can happen is that you can be criticized. But no man can deny that this is the finger of God. I remember Dr. Paul and Enche. 99 right when they went to abuja him his wife and two pastors were staying in one small room not by will that was all they could afford you would have called them failures do you know what it means for a man married with his wife and you cannot afford a house you carry your wife and two pastors you are staying in the same room but that's what it's been called today listen I want you to know right now we are going to pray you are going to challenge your fears and challenge your limitations those voices that have spoken to you and made you feel that you cannot become anything they may be the voices of good people they may be the voices of sincere people but I come to prove them wrong lift your voice and pray in the name of Jesus everyone shout it in the name of Jesus I'm determined to succeed by the anointing of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus my failures of yesterday will not stop me from achieving the breakthroughs of tomorrow I receive courage and fresh grace to face this mountain and to surmount it lift your voice and pray grace oh God lift your voice and pray Lift your voice and pray. Shake it, take it, take it, take it. No weeping and just for a night. Joy comes with the morning. No weeping and just for a night. The Lord is speaking to you. Joy comes with the morning. You didn't get the admission, but it does not mean it cannot be gotten. The marriage didn't work out. The travel abroad did not work out. It does not mean you cannot travel. The business did not work out. It does not mean you are a failure. You may not have money now. 
you may not have connection now nobody may recognize your anointing but keep pressing keep pressing hallelujah hallelujah we are still praying you are going to pray and cry for supernatural persistence and endurance listen let me tell you you can ask every one of the ministers here Barak who ministered and Peter Adole, Manasseh, Pastor Alpha ask all of them they will tell you stories and episodes of endurance listen there was a time in my life I was tightening and I was giving nothing was happening are you getting what I'm saying any man that just tells you it just happened like that lied to you I'm telling you there are seasons in your life where it looks like your heavens are closed although they are not closed are you getting what I'm saying nothing like a result is happening you are planting bearing precious seeds but nothing is happening as a man of God you know the anointing upon your life while you are laboring in the spirit nobody is recognizing your grace to invest in it you can be a great worshiper and for many years you may be moving around crying for just one open door but the doors may not open listen to me you can be a lady pretty and virtuous you've done everything you need to do in your strength sincerely speaking you've done everything you know a woman should do to be prepared for marriage before God and men everyone knows truly you are prepared for marriage all the demons to be casted have been casted out but no man is coming and vice versa for a man you may graduate with a great degree you have served you've even complimented on your degrees submitted CVs let me tell you something in every man's life there are seasons of persistence and endurance I want you to know this don't let any man fool you God is a God of speed not rush God does not rush. He brings speed, not rush. There are seasons where you are proven. The Bible says John remained in the wilderness until his season of appearance. There is something called a man's season of appearance. You can manifest before your season of appearance and keep struggling trying to find relevance. Years ago, he may remember, we went for a meeting in, in Kaduna a very powerful meeting and when we went there there was a man of God who was supposedly a bishop there was nothing bishop about him when you launch yourself without your season of appearance the man was there and after the meeting I, I could not even figure one person who came to say kind man of God you blessed me the bishop was there moving around no friend no car no nothing we went to the restaurant he just sat down somewhere and was just taking his power house nobody was even encouraging him and i said in my mind lord if this is how it means to be a bishop i don't want this honor when god blesses you he brings honor with it when you launch yourself you will keep floating looking for relevance i'm speaking to many of us here we are at the verge of breakthroughs keep holding on there are times you don't need to do anything new. You just need to keep doing what you are doing. Because what you are doing is not wrong. I will deal with you. The body without the spirit is dead. I will make sure you leave this job. The body without the spirit is dead. You only pay attention to a man who has risen beyond the three dimensional realm. Because there is an assistance. Whether demonic or whatever. Are you getting me? Circumcision is that key. There are many who continue. Ah, we have a an extent. We are going to be touching on the matters of the kingdom next week, Friday. I'll be showing you certain secrets of the kingdom that it will make you almost like a drunk man. You will get up and jump and shout. 
tonight all we are doing in this miracle service is by an ancient mystery crying and asking heaven and say lord behold the sick people and already in this place there are more angels the arsenals in the realm of the spirit are more than what you know that's always what happens whenever you see me come to sit down i smile around the stage i would have died of hypertension if i'm responsible for your healing but we have made arrangement already we are covered oh yes absolutely we are covered heaven is jealous you know? jealous to protect his own because god's designated portion listen when you steal your tithe you have not only destroyed your destiny you have stolen from your children every time you don't tithe just know that your firstborn is in trouble if you don't do it again you are affecting your children because he said i will pour you a blessing you will not have room in other words no matter how greedy you are your lifetime cannot exhaust it so when you steal you have endangered the destiny of your children god's portion if anyone ever told you tithing is all about money that person lied to you or was sincerely wrong tithing has nothing to do with money is the law of open heavens let me surprise you if your tithe is ten thousand and you carry one million and give charity foundation and you don't tithe that ten thousand you are operating under a close heaven don't convince yourself that because you gave one million the heavens is open it is called due process i'll teach you next week there is a protocol to spiritual things are you getting my point tithing is what opens your heavens and then anything you do under that open heavens will prosper if you like carry one billion give charity organization give for the building of church if you are not a tighter i guarantee you the bible says your heaven shall be brass and your earth iron all of them are conductors of heat get set for heat in your life when the heaven is open if not if for nothing we know there is ventilation fresh air the wind comes but when your heaven is brass and your earth is iron many of us here no matter what prayer happens in this that's why we took the communion the devourer is authorized to destroy anyone who is not spiritually circumcised the devourer is not a demon the devourer is a principality even jesus christ acknowledged them that's why he said he is the head of principalities it destroys men's lives on legal basis this earth is too wicked for you to allow chance no i pray for people all the time people with cancers hiv tuberculosis communicable diseases imagine if i refuse to be faithful i would die like a chicken because most times i lay hands on people and there are medical doctors here they know that some of these things are physically not healthy but i'm circumcised my goodness you invoke my name in a shrine both the invoker the invokee and the ordinance it they will burn to ashes ashes no matter how mad a man is he doesn't enter fire by mistake he can cross the road and you say he's a madman but when he sees fire he fears off when heaven backs you let me tell you your life becomes a wonder even to you this ministry is a wonder to everyone not just because we are so smart we are just stupid enough to involve the realm of the spirit because by the arm of flesh shall no man prevail you reign you ancient zion's king kadosh kadosh you are mighty on your throne oh sing oh fountains of the deep cry out kadosh you are mighty on your throne you reign you ancient zion's king kadosh kadosh you are mighty on your throne Oh, spirit of the deep, cry out, God, 
you a mighty on your throne. Mighty on your throne. You are 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 mighty in this place. 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 You are mighty in my life. 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 Hallelujah. We are going to pray just two prayer points and then I'll begin to minister. You are mighty in this place. They that are with us are greater, greater, greater. Mantos Kalabandigalia. There shall no man be able to stand against you all the days of your life. Rababa Prayer point number one. Oh God. By the blood I cry for mercy where I've allowed the devourer I have stolen from my tithe your designated portion I've allowed the devil deceive me that the tithe is a gimmick by preachers now I realize and I ask for your mercy lift your voice and pray inside and outside lift your voice your tithe is your spiritual circumcision Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. Ask for fresh grace. Oh. And make a vow that you will never miss out on your tithe again. Make, make a vow. Not by fear. Listen, 
I give you an assurance and I pledge the name of the Lord upon this if you take what I've shared tonight for many of you this is your secret it's your password to a mysterious level of lifting a level of lifting that will surprise you as much as surprise those who are your spectators God's portion the time his designated portion that makes creation to walk in your favor makes your enemies to walk in your favor mysterious but powerful consistent hallelujah just one more prayer and then we'll trust to see the mighty things that the Lord is going to do I want you to lift your voice in one minute we are going to pray in the next five minutes listen I want you to confront the gates of your destiny and I want you to pray and say you must open up this night lift your voice it's the seventh month the gates of my destiny must open up by the power of the Holy Ghost 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 that must open up some just victorious some in horses but we just care for our God just add one more prayer because I see the angels of the Lord already moving let me just add one more prayer listen I want you to pray listen there are giants on every mountain every one of us is holding a prayer request because there is an aspect of your life the devil has refused to let you go but tonight i want you to lift up your voice and prophesy to the heavens and challenge those powers and say i must go tonight lift your voice inside and outside cry I must walk away that carrying out disease must die today that cancer must die today that HIV must go today that barrenness must go today that stagnation must go today Koinonia, pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Oh 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 oh
Hallelujah. Now, before I begin ministering, please, can I have that family if they are here? The family that came with the poison person. Are they here? Please, let's save time. If they are here, just signify by wave of hand and then run out here quickly. There's a lot to do tonight. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. While that is happening, I want everybody to follow up on your prayer request. If you are here to write, please one minute so that when we begin to flow, we just move and we don't stop. So you have one minute while you are praying in tongues. Just write your prayer request very quickly. So that when it's time to pass it, you just pass it very fast. Manta la dosa so predishi la coria da balanabas. Make sure you don't keep silent. Write the issues that have threatened you and watch the God of heaven turn them into testimonies. What can I do? I can leave without you. I can leave without you. So tell me, what can I do? I can leave without you. I can leave without atmosphere is completely under the influence of the Holy Spirit and that everybody here within this vicinity comes under the influence of the Spirit Lord that no one will walk out of this place without a touch of God hallelujah hallelujah now I'm going to begin to minister to us and while I prayed for this in the course of the week again and again I kept seeing please pay attention can I have strings 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 hallelujah I kept seeing again and again spirits watch this spirits leeching onto people this is what I kept seeing like a man sitting on a man's shoulder I saw this over many people and I said Lord what is the meaning of this and the Lord began to to reveal to me that these are the spirits that cause setbacks upon the lives of men and upon the lives of families and the Lord said when I come up he said the first thing I should do is dislodge those powers dislodge those powers I saw them like a man like a child will sit down on the shoulder of another bringing a resistance to your destiny and I'm about to pray for you right now there are so many people under the sound of my voice so many people under the sound of my voice. They must go. Heaven is here to assist us. Lift your hands, everyone. Inside and outside. There will be such mighty deliverances outside. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I even see someone um, uh, 
suffering from severe migraine but then that migraine you think is just sickness we are about to make a shout brothers and sisters this shout is like the sling of david it looks ordinary but there is a circumcision upon it it's a shout that rises beyond the earth realm it's a shout that rises beyond the intelligence of men it's a shout that is like a battle sound to the angelic it's like a battle sound because your destiny must open up right now there will be mighty deliverances mighty deliverances hallelujah i'm going to pray for us and then at the count of three we are going to shout that name jesus my goodness i sense the anointing of the spirit heavy the power of god will fall upon many of you in a mighty way and you will see this spirit some of you are already feeling uncomfortable it's the power of god especially many outside there will be mighty deliverances lift your hands now thank you jesus father in the name of your son i pray right now and i sound an alarm in the realm of the spirit i decree and i declare by the anointing of the holy ghost that the fire of the spirit oh restrain not your hand oh mighty one we pray that you arise as a man of war there are destinies at the mercy of your touch i pray that by this shout oh god there be a visitation that by this shout oh god everyone here under any spirit help them please help them bring them out everyone here under any influence as we shout let fire catch them and visit their foundations and i command every power that at this shout you will let god's people go inside and outside one two three shout that name i command witchcraft powers of darkness right now right now in the name of jesus inside and outside inside and outside inside and outside the fire of god is falling on people falling on people i cause witchcraft i cause witchcraft i cause witchcraft I cause witchcraft in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. Malatata. I'm seeing altars on fire. That's what I see in the spirit. Please bring them out. Altars on fire. One more time, we're going to shout. Physically, many of you will feel the fire. Physically, physically. Right now, in the name of Jesus. One, two, three. Oh yes, that fire, that fire, that fire of the Holy Ghost brings deliverance outside, 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 miracles are happening, miracles are happening, mighty deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost. You must let them go. You must let them go. Right now. By fire. Hey, para toto totos. Breketes kata. La kata kata. El protos kote. Pareto. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. There are people here. As I begin to speak, the Holy Ghost will locate them. I'm seeing ladies. Ladies, a man comes to you in the night and sleeps with you right now by fire. Oh God, locate them right now. Right now. Right now. I cast that spirit. I cast that spirit. Ladies, ladies, a miracle is happening to sisters. I cost those spirits. I cost those spirits. Outside, the fire is falling on ladies. Falling on them. 
Sheria Gabakala Pacoto Piquetedo Empre que te quita Shilo Sarada Baba Shilo Empre que te quita Aketo Aketo I'm seeing a family in the vision of the Lord. Everyone in that family has been tied down by witchcraft. Lord, where is that person in this place? Inside and outside. Right now as I speak, the power of God comes upon that person. Right now, wherever that person is, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, inside and outside, the power of God comes upon that person hallelujah hallelujah lift your voice in one minute this is what the lord is telling me as we begin to pray miracles will start happening lift your voice and break every chain holding you down go ahead this is what god is telling me your hands i hear my spirit families families god is stepping into families there are altars there are altars over families that are about to be broken as you are standing right now god is going to be visiting your family at that shout again inside and outside make sure you are participating Inside and outside, we are going to shout that name as you shout the name of Jesus. Families, I see altars on fire. Are you ready now? Father, any family under the yoke of bondage, as they shout this name, let there be a visitation. One, two, three. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your voice. And ask him for a visitation again. Something serious is happening in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'm hearing marital spells. Marital spells. Please lift your hands. Listen. Hear me. Something mighty is about to happen here. The Lord is ministering to me. 
that there are people who there are spells tying down their marriages whether single or married right now lift your hands as I begin to speak the wind I see like a wind a whirlwind moving across this auditorium oh. it will catch up with some people right now where are they oh God visit them right now in the name of Jesus one more time we will shout that name wherever they are one, two, three Jesus spells spells be broken be broken be broken be broken be broken marital spells outside outside be broken be broken I'm hearing a name, Dorcas. Dorcas, a miracle is coming. Dorcas, an altar is on fire. And I'm hearing the Lord telling me a miracle. Dorcas. Dorcas. Come and stand here. Hallelujah. Who is Israel? I'm hearing a name Israel. Israel, the Lord is ministering to me. Tonight, he must let you go. Let you go. Hallelujah. Now the Lord is showing me a woman. You are here. You had a miscarriage. There is a woman here who had a miscarriage. It's like you had a child and you lost the baby. And the Lord is telling me, please help them, those under the anointing, so that we don't, this place is not rowdy. Listen, let me tell you something. The anointing of the Spirit does not make the difference. The anointing is the difference. The anointing does not make the difference. Without the anointing, we are just making noise here. But by the anointing, and I'm telling you this, no matter where you are, whether you are inside here, or outside, or right at the back, I want you to connect because God is visiting you. And every one of you must have a touch. Dorcas, where is your mother, my dear? Huh? I'm not based in Zaria, sir. No, I'm not saying, She's where is she? Mina, Niger State. She's in Mina. Yes, we have to pray because the Lord is bringing a mighty breakthrough for your family. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Hold my hands. Father, change the story of this lady by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. As I hold your hands, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that the Lord set you free. Madam, look at me. Where is your husband? At home. Huh? He's at home. Why didn't he come with you? Because there is a breakthrough that is a portion for him in this meeting. Amen. But I'm going to pray for you. You believe that? Yes, sir. You believe that? Yes, sir. Because this is delay. Yes. I'm seeing delay in yes, your family. Sir. Serious yes, delay. Yes, it's even becoming an issue of argument between you and your husband. Yes, sir. I'm seeing two of you arguing. Yes, sir. But the Lord is saying he's bringing rest to your yes, family. This Amen, night. Sir. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Father, let there be rest. Rest for her. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are doctors. Where is your mother, my dear? You. She stays in Kaduna. Why? The same way you are crying is how I'm seeing your mother crying in the realm of the spirit. 
and the Lord is ministering to me the Lord is saying why won't she cry when the load is too much on her look at me like we shared tell your mother to get back into faithfulness in tithing are you hearing what I'm saying and even you yourself otherwise you will keep seeing repeated hardship but hold my hands in the name of Jesus Lord bring rest to this lady bring rest to her in the name of Jesus Christ Can, where is the woman that had a miscarriage there is a woman that had a miscarriage and the Lord is asking me to minister to her we may not be able to minister to everybody but there is there is someone please make sure you don't sit back the Lord is ministering to me about that person so that we'll just we'll just pray for her Dogara Dogara I'm hearing a name Dogara Dogara who is Dogara you your name is Dogara yes sir where's your dad he's at home in Kaduna. He's, he's at home in Kaduna. we have to pray for him what i'm seeing will never if they are permitting anything please and please maybe carry them out of we're about to pray please don't worry in the name of jesus i lay my hands right now over and i cause that spirit that wants to bring accident in the name of jesus it will not come to pass we cancel it right now by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Madam, I want to pray for you. The way I'm holding your hands, that's the way the Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's going to begin to hold your hands and that he will cause you to move forward in your life. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's bringing restoration to your life and he's bringing joy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let it be. You are the one with miscarriage. Why did you sit back? Now come. There's nothing embarrassing about it, madam. This is a family. Because I'm seeing another one happening and we must pray for you. Yes, sir. It's happening again. Yes. We have to cancel it. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. It's not a normal thing that you are having miscarriage. Yes, sir. Because there is a spirit that oppresses you. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. And that's what is responsible for that miscarriage. It's not just about praying, praying and saying pray for me. Okay, you understand? Yes, it takes the anointing of the Holy Spirit. You will give birth to a baby boy. Yes. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that this family will experience your touch. Madam, lay, lay your hands on your stomach. Father, there will not be miscarriage again in the name of Jesus. That's right. I see the spirit. Let her go right now. Right now, release her completely. I set her free. Lord, you showed me a baby boy. Confirm your word by the power of the Holy Spirit. Why are they here? Dorcas, your name is Dorcas too. Your name is Dorcas too. Your daughter's name. Just stand I'll pray for all of you. You are Israel. I'm going to pray for you. Are you a student? We have to pray because I'm seeing the devil attacking your academics. Attacking your academics very seriously. So that they will not begin to tell you your scripts are missing. Huh? And then they will implicate you in the malpractice. The Lord is asking me to minister to you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that this is broken. You are all Israel. And I'll pray with you. Let her go right now. I curse you by the God of heaven. Release her right now and let her go. Right now. In the name of Jesus. I'm looking at this woman but in the realm of the spirit all I'm seeing is a large snake. That's all I'm seeing moving around. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where's the usher? Ushers. Lay your hands on this lady. Just one. I curse that spirit. You must release her right now in the name that is above all names there is no hiding place the light of god is against you in the name of jesus christ there is no hiding place for you by the blood of jesus christ you must release this woman is a spirit of death let her go right now in the name of jesus christ father may they experience your touch in the name of Jesus Christ. May they experience your touch. In the name of Jesus Christ. May they experience, I curse that spirit. Let her go. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your baby 
Jesus name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, there is liberty for this boy. There is liberty in the name of Jesus Christ. There is liberty. Hallelujah. Now all those who were brought out here under the anointing, I want to, I want to speak to them now. Don't worry. Everyone out here, I speak to the spirits that are tormenting you. You know my voice, I represent the most high. At the count of three, leave them and go. Right now, one, two, go, go, go. Out of them. Out. Out of them now. Out now. Never to return. At your Lord, live your life. Live your destiny. Restoration of virtue. Of grace. I cost that spirit from its foundation. I cause it for oh, the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. All those who are trusting God for jobs, lift your hands. I see a strange anointing in this place. Please, don't withhold your hand. Don't withhold your hand. There is an anointing. There is an anointing. Sister, you looking at me, rejoice. I see an appointment letter given to you. You, this lady looking at me, you, come. I'm talking to her. You are turning back. You, come, 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 come. I see an appointment letter given to you. There will be mighty miracles of jobs. Hallelujah, come. This is the person I'm talking about. Because I was praying and before I would even start, I saw them handing over to you something that looks like an appointment letter. Right? You believe me? You believe me? You will see it and you will stand before God's people to testify. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. The Lord says I should tell you he's rolling away your reproach, madam. The reproach of many years is being rolled away in this season. That's what the Lord is saying I should tell you. The reproach of many years is being rolled away. I'm seeing like a baller. That's what I'm seeing. A trash place where they pour dirt. And I'm seeing a new seed shooting out. And that's what is that's that's like a type of your destiny. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you, He's rolling away the reproach from your life. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands and let's release miracle job. If you don't believe in it, put down your hand. I command you by the blood of Jesus, you foul spirit, you have oppressed this body. In the name of Jesus, I break your covenant, I break your ordinance. There is a strong spirit that has been oppressing this lady. It's not just her. Can you look at how many people holding one tiny lady? I curse you. Now, I curse you. I curse you by the God of heaven. And I curse you by my office. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I curse that power. Let her go now. Right now. Release her destiny. Release her family now. By the blood of the eternal covenant. She's free. Go. Release her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you something. Listen, listen. People of God, don't think we are playing games here. I know you may see some of the things happening. These are the powers that have tied down men's life. It's not solved by counseling. You are just moving in the physical Yet in the realm of the spirit you are bound. We are not embarrassed. We are never embarrassed to set people free. Because that's what Jesus said. There's got to be a way of setting people free. Hallelujah. Father, jobs now. In the name that is above all names. I want you to receive it as a prophecy over your life. Lord, I declare 
everyone called jobless here by the favor of God I terminate joblessness right now by the favor of God I terminate joblessness right now anyone who has applied for any job I compel them to call you I compel them to call your loved ones I compel them to favor you here called Agnes Agnes I'm hearing a name Agnes the Lord is ministering to me about one Agnes we we'll begin to pray for the sick shop Agnes I'm hearing the name Agnes God is ministering to me he wants to bring deliverance to the family of Agnes do we have anyone there Agnes Your name is Agnes. Your name too. Your family member. Okay, I'm going to pray for you. We'll begin to pray for the sick after this. Father, in the name of Jesus, bring breakthrough for this family. You showed me that you're visiting this family. Go ahead and confirm your word with signs following. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Whoever is Agnes in your family, let there be a miracle in the name of Jesus. I want to begin to pray for the sick, but I'm seeing a very serious situation here. There's someone here with a swollen leg. I don't know who that person is. Your leg mysteriously paining you, and it looks it's, it's like swollen. This is what I see in the vision that the Lord is showing me. Who is that person? Your leg is swollen. Where is it? Which of the legs? Look what? Look, if if the devil, you remember I told you this a body without the spirit. Look what is happening to this girl. And then you just come and marry her because you think you want a wife. Are you seeing that? Is is if it can look at one two three four five people holding one person imagine what it will do to someone's destiny i say this without a sense of cynicism many of the people that god is setting free attend churches every week look we need to restore the power of god in our churches and stop playing games with god because God's idea is not just for one platform. Hallelujah. Swollen legs. No, no, no. Don't, you, don't, you don't have to. Madam, I see you too. Your legs. For how long? What's the situation with her? Is her leg swollen? Okay, hold on. She can't walk. Baby, how are you? Hallelujah. Please help us with the mic. Who brought her? Okay, no, it's okay, it's okay. What's your name? Annie. Annie? Your name is Anne. Agnes. Alice. Your name is Alice. You can't walk. You can walk, but your leg is bent. Oh my goodness, look at such an innocent lady. Lord, have mercy on this lady. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that the Lord will visit you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let her go back when I begin to pray for the sick and we let them come out. I'm just ministering to special cases. Leg, your leg. All of you who had a dream, in a dream, it's like something was shot. It's like, I don't know if it was an arrow, I'm seeing something that looks like a dream, and something was shot on your legs. If the person is not here, I'm seeing someone who had that dream. 
it's like I don't know if it was like a gun or something or an uh, or a, 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 a sharp object. I know that it was it's like it was shot to your leg. Something beat me when I was sleeping. I just broke up and screamed. So blood was coming out of my legs. I, I'll pray for you, but this one I'm seeing. I just want to follow as the Holy Spirit is directing me. It's like it, it looks like a gun or something sharp. Huh? I was shot in the realm of the spirit. In my dream. You were shot. Fired at you. Yes. And what happened to you? I only I prayed when I woke up. You in prayed when you woke up. The Lord is going to set you free. I know that I've talked to you once, but truly, truly, there is a spirit of delay and stagnation in your life. Because you love God, and God is going to use you in many ways. Not just in the area of the anointing, but even in the area of finances. But as it is, there are many things that are not moving in your life. Lift your hands, let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, the reason why you redeem is so that we will be free. I pray that you set this gentleman free by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Everything that was fired on your leg in Jesus' name, I curse it. In Jesus' name. What's happening to you, madam? My leg is swollen. Your leg? Yes. What happened? It's just paining you or it's swollen? It's paining in me. It's for me to stand or to walk. Almost two years. It's broken. Almost two years. Which of the legs? This one. What can't you do? You can't stand straight. It's a problem for me, yes. Is it that it's shorter than another? Or what was the issue? It's not shorter than another. Okay. It's, it's you catch believe? It's good. As I stand in hand, it's catch huh? good. Why is she here? She's your daughter. My father was shot in a dream by an arrow. It, according to my dad, it entered his thigh and came and out came out. the other This thigh. is the person I'm talking about. Yes, and it, huh? it caused a physical wound on his thigh up to his presence. This guy Where is, is he? Here. Is he here? He's in Lagos, sir. He's in Lagos. Yes, sir. You believe God will touch him? Yes, sir. When I pray for you, call him and tell him yes, that he's been prayed for. Yes, huh? sir. Yes, because sir. this is witchcraft. Where are you from? I'm from Benway State. What's your name? My name is Kate. Kate. Yes, sir. From Benway State. Hold yes, my hands. Father, visit this family. You have revealed this in the name of Jesus. I cast this witchcraft. Let it leave your father never to return by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it leave your father never to return by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Madam, you believe Jesus will heal you? Yes, I do. You believe with all your heart? Yes. Madam, what's your situation? I have new pains. Since I, yes, since I feel sick, they used to swell up. Since, since, I, you, walk, since I was sick for six months, they used to swell up. But now, I can't walk. I can walk and be hearing sharp pain. Where? Where is the sharp pain? Okay, how about you? My leg is swollen for over five years. Five years? Where is, which one is swollen? Oh, I see. You can't stand? I can't stand for long. For a long time. Mama, how about you? Two months now. I started to leave this leg. Two, two months? Yes. What's happening? I have arthritis. You have arthritis? Yes. Who else? Who again? I have leg problems. December. Leg problems. All of you, I'm going to pray for you too. Your legs yeah. swollen. Me oh, you are the one who said something beat you. Ah, you are a worker in this place. Let's challenge that devil. She's a worker in this house. There is an immunity. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare that this will never return to her again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Never return to her by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to pray for you. And I want you to check yourselves after I pray for you. Of Jesus, sister, five years your leg has been swollen permanently like that. Have you gone to the hospital? What did they tell you? Nothing was wrong. Eh? Nothing was wrong. Nothing is wrong because when a thing is spiritual, no matter what happens in the physical, you may not be able to get an equivalent, um, a, a something to be able to treat. But Father, in the name of Jesus, we cause witchcraft. This is like right in the name of Jesus Christ. I command freedom freedom for your legs in the name of Jesus I break the power of witchcraft mama I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit I pray for you right now every wicked spirit leaves you right now in the name of Jesus Christ lay your hands on your chest the Lord is bringing you deliverance right now in the name of Jesus this is witchcraft 
for five years. I'm seeing a spirit. Go. Go. In the name of Jesus. You can't remain in her. The swollen legs. I command the swelling to go down. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Mama, I pray for your leg. In Jesus' name. I pray for your leg. That's where the pain is. Just lay your hands there. In the name of Jesus Christ. I cause the pain by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please check yourselves. Check yourselves. Check yourselves. Do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. And tell me if there's any improvement. How many of us came here either for ourselves or for our loved ones to be healed? Specifically in the area of healing. Let me just see your hands. Inside and outside, can you just wave it to the Lord? How many of you came here to be healed? Okay, very quickly, while the worship team leads us in a powerful worship session, want all the sick people to make their way right now. Just, just guide all the people that are under the anointing. Just shift them. Don't drag them around. Please, let's do that very quickly. Make your way out and just stand in a straight line and trust God for a miracle. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. And it will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain. Look how many people are trusting God for healings and miracles. I sincerely pray with all my heart that every church and every assembly of God will permit the power of God to operate in their place. It is not a thing of pride to have so many, look at, literally, maybe hundreds of people right outside. There is a long queue and we'll have to minister to these people. It's not God's idea to have one superstar. It's just that many people especially men of God are unwilling to press into the dimensions that bring them to the possibilities we are going to do this very very fast all of you who are sitting make sure you are connected and um, you are participating while we are ministering to the sick I want you to pass your prayer request ushers you can walk around please make sure all those outside even those on the roadside make sure that we receive their prayer request because I'll be laying hands on it immediately afterwards myself and Pastor Jax will be ministering to you whatever your challenge is I want you to believe God while you're standing lift your voice and begin to say Lord I will not return back with this sickness in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Father I stretch my hands over your people let your healing power deliver and strengthen the Lord is healing someone of pile I'm seeing someone that has suffered pile for a long time. The Lord is healing you right now. You may be in the healing line, but the Lord is healing you right now. Hallelujah. Please make your way. Make your way. It doesn't matter who lays hands on you. There is a corporate anointing in this place. Hallelujah. Please, as soon as we lay hands on you, just go this way very quickly. There are people right to the back outside so that we'll hurry up. And there are still other things we need to do. Praise God. matter what is wrong with you just a laying on of hands the anointing of the spirit is like a drug the moment it enters your body it begins to work and it brings you healing you will notice that some people are standing for healing but as soon as hands are laid on them devils are coming out because they are the causes of these infirmities Jesus Christ.
Christ. Holy, 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 of this brother the legs look at me leave him move your hand for him look at me have you tried walking before huh? lift your leg try lift it lift it lift the other one lift it lift it You are mighty Look at me. Just stand behind him so in case he wants to fall, you hold him. Look at me. See, just look at me, not your legs. Look at me. Come. 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 Just come. Don't think of how it will happen. Come. 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 Come on, you celebrate Jesus. You are mighty Jesus. on your throne. Completely the legs are open. If you are yet to pass yours, please just do it quickly. Can we all rise? As many as can rise, please, inside and outside. It's a very prophetic moment right now. Jesus, my heart will sing. No other name. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Sing. My heart will sing. No other 
other name. No Those outside, can we have it quickly? No other name, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. We just have five minutes to do this. Listen, I assure you, this is the place where God answers prayers. Hallelujah. I may not be able to minister to everyone individually, but I want you to know that this is a representation of your heart's desire. This is a representation of why you are here. And I'm going to lay my hands as, and as much as possible as a point of contact. All I want you to do is stretch your hands here and begin to receive answers to your prayer. Go ahead. Go ahead. Stretch your hands as I pray on this. Now God is greater. Our God is stronger. Just play the tune while we pray. Stretch your hands and receive. Lord we are praying please make sure you are praying outside stretch your hands towards the screen say Lord I receive it I receive it lift your hands and stretch your hands here and pray Pray from the depth of your heart. testimonies in the name of Jesus turn impossible situations into testimonies Lord we agree we agree we agree in the name of Jesus turn impossible situations to testimonies stretch your hands and keep receiving I receive by faith come on pray all kinds of miracles by the anointing of the Holy Ghost all kinds of miracles. Thank you for your glory. Even as these prayer points, Lord, are lifted up to you, Lord. As your people look up to you, Lord. They look up to you, Lord, from whence their help cometh from my Father. I ask you, Lord, that you send angels, Lord. You send answers, my Father. I pray that God doors that are yet to be opened be opened. My Father, I pray for healings, Lord. Healings or terminal cases, Lord, let it be turned. Lord, where people said, there's no way, my Father, we pray that doors, Lord, you create streams in wilderness places. My Father, Lord, for people that cast away, my Father, Lord, you make them renowned by the power of your spirit. We ask for your hand to rest upon your people. Lord, we ask that, Lord, miracles, miracles, Lord, will be given to your people. Answers to prayers, Lord, prayer points that have been pending for many years. We ask that, God, doors be open, Lord. Let miracles, Lord, 
flow into this house in the name of Jesus testimonies we are bound in great ways Lord unprecedented miracles Lord we pray in the name of Jesus we ask for healings we ask that Lord people that are insane you cause them to be sane in the name of Jesus we pray for contract that long delayed Lord we pray that Lord will be awarded by the power of your spirit in the name of Jesus and we pray for a shield of protection over your saints Lord in the name of Jesus we ask for a revitalization of spiritual lives by the power of your spirit let the fire of God call come on cold altars in the name of Jesus let there be healings and touches in families in the blessed name of Jesus we give you praise we give you glory for the great and mighty things you will do amongst us Lord we give you praise blessed father for we know all our prayers have been answered by the power of your spirit we thank you in the name of Jesus we pray hallelujah hallelujah if you believe that your request has been turned into a testimony I'd like you to shout a loud hallelujah shout a loud hallelujah a loud hallelujah a loud hallelujah 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 for many of you it will be like you are dreaming when you will watch one by one by one by one by one by one in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ it's by the anointing it's not by English burdens are destroyed because of the anointing hallelujah this last segment you've heard me say it again this is the most powerful and most impactful segment if you're not a man of the spirit you may not understand what I'm saying please help them this is the most powerful of this segment right now before we go into this where I begin to prophesy there are two dimensions to prophecy there is the revelatory dimension of prophecy that dimension of prophecy gives you direction but the stronger dimension of prophecy is the creative dimension that's when things that are not become by the power of the spoken word never joke with the power of prophecy that's the power that created the heavens and the earth he said i prophesied as i was commanded before we do that very quickly everyone inside and outside there are people here tonight who are saying man of god i want to commit my life to the lord i've seen the miracles i've seen the signs and wonders but my way is not right with the lord you know that right now as you're standing here if the trumpet sounds you're not making heaven you know it right now having a christian name is not the same as having a relationship with jesus there are some you've given your heart to the lord at one time please help the, uh, those under the anointing i tell you there will be a powerful impartation right now i sense a heavy anointing on me already that's why i'm doing this very quickly now if you are here please don't delay us you are saying i want to return home for whatever reason you found yourself living the ways of god and you are saying lord i have heard your word and i'm not ashamed to make jesus my lord there are people in this auditorium young and old there are people by all the overflows right to the roadside no matter how far you are hearing my voice it should not be too far right now i'll just count one to five please run like you are running away from death run like there's fire on the mountain one inside and outside the devil is a liar tonight don't let any spirit stop you Tori. hallelujah hallelujah keep coming god bless you you have won it all for me hallelujah hallelujah you have won the victory sing hallelujah hallelujah Keep coming, keep coming. Please hurry up and catch up with us. Sasa di buchi. Sasa di buchi. Sasa di buchi. We give you the praise. 
one of you for coming out this is the way to the cross listen no matter what you achieve in life if your eternal destiny is not secured it says this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life but he said this life is in his son until you have the son you do not have that life lift your right hand forget about who is looking at you and in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray this prayer from the depth of your heart. You are not reciting a poem. It's not a special number. This is a decision. There's one of you here. You smoke all these kinds of things. It go and the rest. Huh? But as you pray this prayer, the power is broken over your life. Say after me, as loud as you can from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus. I love you with all my heart and with everything within me this night I make Jesus Lord of my life I repent of my sins I declare that eternal life comes into my spirit I am born again I'm a child of God from today the power of sin the power of the flesh is broken over me my past is gone and it's over forever I am a new creation in Christ in the name of Jesus the power of sin is broken over my life in the name of Jesus I receive of your life in Jesus name I pray now I stretch my hands over you and I declare the power of sin is broken over your life in the name of Jesus every yoke that has tied you down lets you go forever in the name of Jesus I declare that is a new season for you everything that is a habit and a challenge in your life I release you from it right now every covenant and ordinance of darkness that is the foundation of your trouble by the blood of Jesus it is wiped away I set you free I break you free from every wrong association that keeps you in sin in the name of Jesus Christ I pray hallelujah I want to congratulate all of you for making this decision this is the greatest decision you would ever make in your life hallelujah now very quickly so that you catch up with us in this prophetic session I want you to follow the gentlemen waving their hands they will have your details and then we'll follow you up very closely praise the Lord just follow them koinonia celebrate them as they go all of you this way this way just follow the gentleman now everybody rise please i want you to receive this prophetic word this is the seventh month and the bible says revive thy work in the midst of the years hallelujah there is a mystery with the seventh month is the time where God perfects all things as I prophesy to you please I want you to know that there is an anointing that makes it happen hallelujah listen listen don't, don't mind all that nonsense one way to conquer Satan is to ignore him all of that rubbish uh, is, is the devil works in the realm of the senses by the time you focus all your attention on this drama and these things you will waste your time I know you are trying as ushers just stand around Satan does not have authority I want you to know that there is an anointing manifestations are already signs that his power is broken but Satan knows that we walk in the realm of the flesh so he begins to act around your mind to distract you when you ignore Satan is one way of conquering him it does not have the capacity to continue all of this nonsense are you getting my point so this is teaching you so that tomorrow you don't end up wasting your time with all this rubbish and all this drama praise the Lord lift your hands I prophesied as I was commanded 
You are Yahweh. You are seated on the throne. You are Yahweh. Seated on the throne. You are Yahweh. You are seated on the throne. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying right now by the ministry of angels are they not ministering spirits send to minister today that be the heirs of salvation I pray for you every weakness in your life that weakness dies tonight in the name of Jesus every weakness in your life that weakness leaves you tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I prophesy to you that Red Sea you are standing before by the anointing of the Holy Ghost in this second half of the year. An anointing comes upon you and I prophesy cross every Red Sea. Cross every Red Sea. Cross every Red Sea in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for every student here. Oh, for there is a spirit in man and the inspiration make it men of understanding. I'm praying for you. Some of you, listen. As I pray now, some of you will literally feel like oil being poured upon your head. It's an impartation of knowledge. Right now, oh God, I release an anointing to change the story of students. At the count of three, let it fall right now. One, two, three. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it now. Take it now. That anointing. Receive it for exploits. Shaka -ta -ta -ta. Inside and outside. Take it for exploits, exploits, exploits. Hallelujah. Everything called stagnation in your life that has forced you to stay in one position while you should be moving right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of prophecy. I command stagnation to end now. 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 My goodness, something is happening to your destiny. Every night season in your life, every wilderness experience that has refused to break forth into the day i speak to you right now your morning arrives finally your morning arrives finally your morning arrives finally hallelujah there is something called favor i don't know if you know it but there is something called favor when the favor of god is upon a man your looks your background your qualifications no longer matter let an anointing of favor right now I see at least 100 people 100 people like fire 100 people right now receive it receive it favor 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 upon your life favor haratata tabakata shakata lakata ratakata favor 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 parekete embratata lakata i prophesy by an apostolic anointing favor 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 Every 
one holding anything that should be given to you for the next level i don't care where they are but i sound an alarm in the spirit that in this month we're entering called august may that be the month where you receive the keys of the next level receive the keys of the next level the mysteries of the next level every spiritual blindness shababa things happen around you you cannot see blood of spiritual vision i pray right now many of you will see like flashes of light as i'm praying right now you will see literally like flashes of light your eyes are opening right now right now right now right now right now by the power of the holy ghost blindness spiritual blindness spiritual blindness be free from it right now be free from it right now be free from it right now hallelujah there are many of us here dreams and visions are prophetic channels where we get insight and direction but for many of us our dreams and visions have either been corrupted or it's no longer there the bible says they will dream dreams it says they will see visions Shakataba, lift your hands there will be an, a restoration anointing right now i just want you to shout i receive listen many things will happen to you many of you is an activation of the realm of dreams and visions where god will start showing you the blueprint for the next level right now in the name of jesus at the count of three as you shout i receive let there be an impartation upon your dream life upon spiritual visions one two three now you receive it receive it restoration of fire fire dream dreams see visions dream dreams see visions dream dreams see visions dream dreams hallelujah it says what do you have in your house and she said nothing except a jar of oil i want to prophesy upon your gift it's one thing to be gifted but it's another thing for your gift to be anointed there are many of you the gift you have can bring bread to your table but nobody is seeing it it's one thing to be gifted it's one thing to be skilled but it's another thing for your gift to be anointed thou anointed my head with oil and it makes my cup to overflow i prophesy to you whatever has covered your gift whatever has made your gift barren right now in the name of jesus i anoint your gift now i anoint your skill now i anoint your gift now creativity creativity i release it i release that anointing creativity skill expertise competence proficiency in the name of jesus christ anybody who has said it's not your time to manifest that you always remain on the background you clap for others but you are not cursed it's God's desire that every man will also come to the lamb light I pray for you 
whatever has kept you behind right now in the name of Jesus I command let the light be on you let the light of glory be on you hallelujah everything you have tried by your strength to do and you have been unable to do throughout half of this year you have tried by your strength i'm releasing grace upon your life right now go back to that same day and watch how god will bless you through it i pray for every ministry here from glory to glory every church represented from honor to honor new dimensions of the anointing in the name of jesus christ every business here is time to shine come on every business here i strengthen your hand arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine lift your hands one last prayer listen i want to activate the gift of the spirit without the gift of the spirit upon your life your life will be barren and unfruitful it says for i long to see you that i may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye be established i pray for you in the name of the lord jesus christ that the lord himself something is about to happen to your life right now as i speak father i come under this apostolic anointing right now across the land and bread in this auditorium and outside at the count of three let there be an activation of spiritual gifts one two three take it take it gift of healing word of knowledge gift of prophecy 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 i activate the prophetic i open your eyes spiritual gifts endowments of the spirit i declare that you are supernatural beginning from tonight in the name of jesus everywhere you go you are supernatural let the anointing upon this house follow you like a shadow i prophesy to you every anointing that is upon this house from today let it follow you like a shadow whatever the anointing has brought to this house let it bring into your life hallelujah lift your hands and give him praise father we give you all the praise I assure you you will know that this miracle service was unusual you will know many of you right from this night tomorrow will not reach you start having your testimonies right from this night right from this night favor alerts calls i mean connections mysterious happenings i speak to the spiritual borders of your destiny and in the name of jesus i command that every gate that has been closed the bible says your gate shall be continually open so you have a gate your gate shall be continually open to receive the forces of the gentiles i pray for you in the name that is above all names let everything in your life start working for you i command the earth to work for you 
I command the wind to walk for you. I command the stars to walk for you. Everything that is a disappointment in your life, I change it tonight to a testimony. Hallelujah. If you're worshiping with us for the first time, keep standing, everybody. There are many people outside. Let me speak upon your life personally. Wherever you are, please make your way to the front quickly. We have one minute to do this. God bless you. This is your first time. You are most welcome. There is a prophecy for you. You must carry a signature. No, stand up. Keep standing. Everybody must know you came for Koinonia. Hallelujah. Listen, when you come here, we may not give you hampers, but we give you an identity. You will go back with it and everyone will know that you met the Christ. Make your way to the front. Koinonia, celebrate them. Glorious. Glorious. God brought them by his spirit. Is this the best you can do in appreciation to what the mighty God has done for us as a house? Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain